hello you guys what is up so this morning i woke up at like 10 10 o'clock because yesterday i honestly woke up really really early and then i went to bed really really late because i had to submit a video that i hadn't finished so i stayed up like so late so i had to give myself that rest and sleep in but then it made me feel shitty waking up because i'm like oh my god like how do i be productive now like it's 10 o'clock like and then i stayed in bed until 10 15 because i was just honestly like kind of being down on myself and like i was like why would you wake up at 10 and i'm like you know what like i needed that rest or else i wouldn't be able to function today it's better me sleep in those extra couple of hours than like me be completely tired and not perform my best throughout the day if that makes sense like when your body needs rest it needs rest and if you neglect that then you're gonna get burnt out you're gonna get tired and it's just not gonna be good like you're not gonna be happy and so now like looking back on it i'm happy that i did that and i'm turning my day around we are turning this day into a productive day okay i wasn't even planning on going to the gym i was just like you know what screw it like i can't do anything like that's what that was my thought process waking up a couple hours later i was like i can't do anything and it put me in this like mental block but like now realizing i'm like you know what it's only 10 o'clock like i have the whole day ahead of me it doesn't matter if i have to work a bit extra into the evening tonight like as long as I get my shit done, I do what makes me feel good, then I'm going to set my day up for success, you know? So we are flipping this day around. We are going to be productive. It's currently 11.50 and I'm just going to go do a quick workout because I got to get to a COVID test by 1 o'clock. So I just got to the gym and I'm going to do a workout. Um, probably going to be a little quicker than usual, but that's okay because at least I'm getting it done and that's what counts. As long as you show up for yourself um then that's what matters and that's what counts and i'm challenging myself as well today to not go on my phone obviously if i get like a, note, a text message or like someone needs my response i'm gonna be on my phone but what i mean by that is like i'm not gonna take my little breaks and like scroll through tiktok or scroll through instagram i'm gonna try to literally not do that today and get everything done that i need to get done quick efficient and just staying off my phone always makes me feel better and healthier and just overall happier so that's what we're gonna do today we're flipping this day around we're challenging ourselves to stay off our phone yeah i was gonna bring myself a banana and a cliff bar because i haven't eaten anything this morning i kind of just like woke up i was doing some yoga and then i did something quickly on my computer that i needed to do because i didn't eat breakfast so i was gonna bring myself a banana and a cliff bar and i totally forgot to grab one before i left so i'm kind of disappointed about that because i know that i'm gonna get hungry but we can always just pick something up after the gym if i'm really that hungry anyways let's go smash this workout and yeah there's a lot of the times where i'm like oh what's the point of going to the gym if i'm only going to be there for half an hour but there's a point because you're showing up for yourself and working out and keeping that promise to yourself it's better than neglecting it and not doing it so let's go i'm going to be taking you guys along my day and yeah i'm excited to hang out with you guys Drop the gallery open to 10 For you and your friends You know how I spend in H-O-U-S-T-O-N I just finished my workout I am absolutely dead It is currently 12.35 And I need to get to my COVID test But I can't decide if I want to get Starbucks or not right now Or if afterwards I'll just like hurry home to eat I think I'm just going to go home and eat to be honest One thing about living by yourselves Is you always, always have to think what's for dinner i don't know what that's gonna be tonight so i'm like am i gonna stop at the grocery store after like i'm gonna get too hungry should i eat now like i just can't decide what i want to do because i don't know what we're gonna have for dinner tonight so i'm just kind of in my car right now i need to leave for my covid test but like i just can't decide if i should get starbucks or not it's just like i just don't know if i'm gonna stop at the grocery store afterwards i should have thought of this earlier <laughs> it get too crazy had a little bad we stay good friends we get too wavy all i know is that when this cup ends the next one be Okay, so I just made my smoothie with this new um, vegan protein powder with greens in it that we bought at Costco. It's pretty much like looks like the same exact thing that I got from Walmart. It has it's like vanilla protein, it's vegan, and it has greens added to it. So we thought that we would try the one from Costco. And I just tried it and I don't really like the taste better as much as I did the other one that I got from Walmart You guys have seen it in my smoothies in the past But I don't know if it's just because it's a new one So I need to get used to the taste so I will update you guys But yeah, I don't know if it's just because it's new I think it's a little weird tasting but I feel like I just might get used to it And it might be because I was so used to the other one But I guess we'll see so I'm just about to take a shower and I didn't end up going to grocery store or starbucks because i know i was just talking about that but so i just got covid tested for the film industry and then i came 
um, straight back home just because it's like 1 30 right now and I have a meeting at 3 so I was like you know what I might be out for too long and I want to shower and eat before I do the meeting just because I know that I'm gonna get super hungry so yeah I just decided to make a smoothie and then after a shower I'm gonna make breakfast or <laughs> lunch now I guess and then hop on the meeting and then I might go out later to get something for dinner I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet I want to still think about it but yeah I also have a lot of cleaning to do because usually I do like my Sunday reset cleaning and I didn't do that yesterday because it was Mother's Day so I was with my family all day and so the apartment is looking a little bit like a pigsty so I got to clean up like I don't think it'll take me too long it's like just kind of shits everywhere we will clean up and then I got a video to edit. So today's a little bit weird, but it's okay. We're still gonna be productive. It'll be a fun time. Here's the super quick breakfast I just made. I just did a cheese bagel with avocado and scrambled egg. And this is so good. I've been loving doing this recently. And I just put the extra eggs on the side with sliced tomato. And yeah, I'm so excited to eat this. I'm so hungry. You guys, I had a gap in my eyelashes and I don't know how, like what caused it. I think I might have just like maybe ripped them out with an eyelash curler one day. I don't really know what happened, but there was like a slight gap in this eye and there still is, but it's finally growing back. Thankfully, I see like a mini eyelash there, so it's growing back. But it was so annoying because like I couldn't even wear mascara where it would look so weird because it's like a literal gap and then like, I don't know, it just looked so bad. So I've been staying away from mascara for a very long time now. I didn't even realize the time. It's already 2.56 and my meeting is in four minutes. So I was gonna make myself a coffee before, but we don't really have time. So I'm gonna make one after. I was getting a little tired, like I'm starting to hit a wall, but then I was just like jamming out while doing my, um, a little bit of makeup. Um, and also you guys, this is such a cute hairstyle to do if you have greasy hair. Basically, you just take your two front pieces up and pin them with little cute clips and that's it. It's so easy and it keeps your hair out of your face. And I just hate when my hair is greasy it's, and it's in my face. Like, I don't care if my hair is freshly washed and it's down. Like, I love that. But once it gets greasy and it's down, ooh, like, I can't stand it. I have to do something with it. Like, this is actually the perfect hairstyle to do. And it's so cute. I kind of forgot about it. Okay, let's hop on the meeting. Bye. And I just got off the phone with my manager. It was such a good freaking call We talked for almost two hours and I didn't expect it to go that long But she's just like so good at what she does and she made me really pumped and just excited for the future and everything But anyway, so we talked for so long and I didn't expect it to go that long and I can't believe it's already 4 45 Like what the heck I was planning on going out later to get dinner but i didn't realize how late it already was like the meeting started at three i don't know what I, I thought it was so much earlier on in the day so i don't know what i'm doing for dinner i have to figure that out but first i just want to do a little bit of a clean with me because my apartment is not looking too hot right now i'm just gonna be real and honest with you guys and show you exactly what the mess looks like it's definitely not like the worst it can be but i don't know what happened yesterday and today i've just been throwing shit everywhere and not cleaning up and then this morning joel left dishes in the sink which is fine because i do that too but i just don't thrive in a messy environment to be honest like that's just me i don't feel mentally okay when my space is a mess it just kind of gives me like it just doesn't motivate me and it just i don't know i just don't like the feeling like i can't really sit down and watch tv and relax if my space is a mess it just doesn't like i feel guilty about it for some reason and i just need to clean so that's what we're gonna do I'm still having a productive day so it's fine that call was amazing and i'm just so happy so here is my current state of the table so clean <laughs> and then we got this huge box here because this was the box that my patio furniture came in and we just haven't brought it down yet there's some garbage inside of it actually and an air mattress that i have to bring down so i want to get rid of this as well coming onto here there's just shit everywhere and then over here 
I just kind of need to do laundry really badly. Look at how bad this is piled up. It happens, like it's fine, but we gotta clean that. And my bathroom is just a different story. Let me show you guys. So as you can see, it's just kind of a mess. So we're gonna tackle this right now and do a bit of a clean with me montage and we'll see how long it takes us. I'm hoping I can do this within, I feel like an hour is pretty realistic. I actually really enjoy cleaning to be honest. That's one thing about living on my own is I enjoy cleaning because I know that I made this a mess. So it's like not as bad as cleaning your household, knowing that like your siblings did it or whatever. Like you're not cleaning after anybody. You're cleaning up after yourself. So it's like a better feeling and it's more satisfying in a way, but yay, I'm actually excited to do this little cleaning montage. So let's just get into it. Bye. Thank you. 
it is like 7 15 and i just finished cleaning i literally said that i wanted to do it in an hour but it's been, been like two and a half hours so whatever i mean it's clean i feel so freaking good now everything is just clean and tidy and fresh and it's the best feeling i just can't wait till we have like everything decorated with our furniture that's gonna feel so good when especially when everything is clean i just literally can't wait i'm thinking of ordering sushi because it is already 7 15 i have no idea what to do for dinner and i can really go for sushi so i might do that because i have been cleaning for so long now it feels like and i still wanted to edit a video don't know if that's gonna happen today, but anyways, everything is just so nice and clean. Let me show you. So first off, we have the bathroom, nice and clean. <laughs> Get excited for this room transformation video because it's gonna be coming out, like I haven't started yet, obviously, but I'm going to start soon and it's gonna be coming soon. I'm just so stoked for everything, like decorating it. Oh, I just can't wait. Kitchen is nice and cleaned. Floors are vacuumed. I just need to put away those dishes when they're finished drying. And I also still haven't found a soap dispenser. So that is kind of sad, but I have been looking for one since we moved in and still haven't been able to find one I like, but keeping an eye out for that. The living room <laughs> slash couch, nice and tidied. And then the office closet area is nice and tidy as well so i'm just so happy this company called papier just sent me which is paper but in french by the way um they just sent me a meal planner and i'm so excited for this can we just talk about how cute the packaging is they didn't sponsor this this is just like they sent it to me for free which is really nice but it's so cute and it even has my name on it so you open it and then it has a weekly meal plan. So it has breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then it has grocery list. And I love this so much because I feel like I actually want to start planning out like at least my dinners just because like I was talking about before, it's just hard to plan them sometimes. And you always got to think of it. So that would be really convenient to just like plan it all in advance. And you can also like rip off the, the paper so you can like bring it with you. But how cute. I'm actually obsessed with it. It's like navy blue and pink and it's just so cute. They also sent me this recipe book up here. So here is their recipe book. Basically it just has like a breakfast section, lunch section, and then at the end there's dinner sections. And it's just so cute because I honestly want to start having like keeping the recipes that i find that i really like so this is such a cute thing that i really want to start doing and yeah the cover is also really really nice oh my god i didn't even realize the back was stripes and this one also says my name so thank you so much to papier i'll have these um things linked down below if you guys want to check them out but i ordered sushi and joel picked it up on the way home i am so excited for this so this is a chicken teriyaki roll and this is a spicy tuna roll i got extra ginger no wasabi i always do this because i love ginger with sushi it's underrated okay you have to try it it's so good i can't eat sushi without it now i'm really scared for the spicy tuna roll i haven't ordered it in a long time because when i order it it just doesn't go mix well with my stomach but i decided to give it another chance just in case things have changed because it's so good anyways i'm so excited to eat this so happy this one begins my bay. you know me and you know me back then and you know how it goes when i see you again you know i'm making my way to your ends and you know i need you to be there for me